was that? Okay. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Don't mind the frame rate drops. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's just because this area has a lot of stuff in it. But, dude, what the heck is that? Well, that's the last part. We fought that cool, like, what was he? Um, it was like a, like a, uh, what do they call it? Not, not crystal, like, it's a dragon of some kind. Whoa. Walking mausoleum? Oh, this guy was having a party all by himself. Oh, uh, I feel you, dude. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. What are these people? Oh, they're the headless, headless guys. I don't know how to take this one down. He doesn't have anything on his feet. At least I don't see anything. I don't know. This one might be different from the rest. Oh, goes down. One of these, huh? We'll go. We'll go. Why not? Right? Looks like there's some extra passages too. We'll have to check those out later. I also learned a thing about the uh, the miners with the uh, Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. I learned a thing about the miners that have the uh, the backpacks with stuff in them, like the baskets. Apparently, if you light those guys on fire, they explode. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's be sure to remember that. I guess people are just bad at parkouring. And this mine is deep. Oh crap. Well, I didn't have the jump height for it. Crap. Likely sleep. Happy. One thing I've learned about Dark Souls from playing, or, you know, Souls games in general. Is that the messages never make sense. <laughs> People will write weird messages that make no sense, but that's okay. Jeez, dude. That's crazy. I've never seen that. That was like super beast mode. And yeah, I did notice those guys up top. We don't know what we're facing, so... This is gonna be dangerous. Crystallion? Heck. We did no damage to him when we hit him. What the heck, dude? Doing 13 damage, what? Did a lot of damage. He has like no poise. Ow. I'll do it again. That was kind of a joke. Smithing stone miners ball bearing.
I mean, he had he had like a lot of resistance, but he wasn't really strong. You know what I mean? Like he had no poise. There you go. He had no poise, but he had a lot of armor. I don't. Oh what? Where'd Vade go? Find yourself maidenless. Off to Leona with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of the Gate Town. Bravo. I've been to the blood to the Rose Church thing. I guess we gotta head there next. After we do a little bit of a little bit of like uh, going to some shops and stuff. I'm gonna go ask Santa Claus, see if he has anything else to say. About Blade. Ah. Then you met Blythe, did you? Blythe. Blade, Blythe, whatever. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. A good man. Boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. <laughs> but he's a good egg. I think the two of you are sure to puppy. find the best in one another. He's a puppy. Cute. He doesn't have anything else that I need for some. <laughs> oh right, I need to stop by uh for now. The lens uh place and uh, so I could drop off one of the books. I hope though I don't know if that was him that we actually killed. Because I've seen someone else piss him off. I saw Gouda actually piss him off. And he had like a rose bouquet that did um uh, blood loss damage. It did like bleed damage. And the guy that we killed here kind of looked like him and he kind of had the same attack thing and he also did blood blood uh blood loss but i don't think that was him though yeah because he's right here okay hey what's up ah there you are you've had your audience with the two fingers yeah at the round table we got fingered wait no that sounds wrong what was your impression they didn't seem right. They were magnificent. Well, they were weird. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They did seem weird. Aha! Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. Woo? My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. I can't. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe. But when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Uh -huh. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. I mean, they were kind of weird. That's the part that irks they the most. They are two sentient fingers, after all. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. I'm wise? Festering bloody finger. Oh, thanks. I, I, I don't want them. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. What does that mean? Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. Invasion multiplayer. I'm not really into invasions. Be sure to try. There's no real tarnished was spurned by grace <laughs> your yeah like i'm not into invasions or getting invaded by that matter but so rather not try that and i'm not good at pvp multiplayer i'm i'm barely okay against killing npcs and stuff. this guy's back I know this guy was gonna spawn twice, but I said that. There you are, my apprentice. That's me. Shall we commence the lesson? Yes. The scroll. Uh, academy scroll. Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. 
This is. I'll be sure to incorporate. Never lose that inquisit. Of course, I won't. All right. So what do we get? Glintstone pebble. Glintstone stars. There it is. That's that's one of the ones I wanted. Try that. Glint blade phalanx. Yeah. About glintstone stars. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in glintstone. But what is the nature of such power? The crystal candy magic. I like crystal candy magic. The cosmos. Golden Amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten Yay. that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Right. It's like, it's like everyone else is like studying glintstone magic to like, because it's powerful. Me making crystal, a uh, glintstone magic so I can make crystal candies. <laughs> Memorize spell. Let's see. What else do we need to do? We need to go to the bestial sanctum and give the death root to big animal guy. Big fuzzy animal guy. Hopefully he'll give us some good... Hello! I found more stuff for you. Beast priest. The beast priest. Oh, I'm not sated. Yeah, neither am I. And I just had a burger. Okay. Bestial vitality. Gift prayer book. Uh, dragon cult. That is a work of heresy. Well, too bad. It's very well. Urgent heal, heal, ear poison, magic fortification. Ooh, that one might be good. Hello. Ah, you again, is it? The recusants sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? All right, I never did find you those guys. You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Wait, what? Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Manor? Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. It's on Mount Gelmir. That's where they hide. Just you wait. The tale of how Mount Gelmir? Not sure I know where that is. Could be off over here or even off over here. Because I've heard of the manor. But I don't know. I don't know what. I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. <coughs> I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. Aww. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. <laughs> Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. Oh, she sounds so happy. Oh. Curtsy. Oh. I am pleased to see. Would you like me to hold you? The blessing is still. Would you like to? Yes. Now, come closer. I don't care if I get a debuff. I really don't care. Must hug. Deathbed lady. Awesome. You are so very warm. Uh -huh. And good day to you, this will kill. my dear. Adorable. So maybe some of you remember how a couple episodes ago when we actually stormed the castle over there. When we actually stormed the castle, we got um uh, I think it was Roderica uh, when we first came here it gave us like a little what's it? It was this thing, the chrysalid's memento. There's apparently a place where you can stop by and you can get, like, the reward. It's like, 
It's like the hood that she's wearing. It was like nothing special, but I still kind of want to get it. Oh crap, that actually scared me a little bit. I was like, why is there blood stains on a roof? Yeah, well, that, there's, there's my answer. It was in crossed leg. Really? I got a... I got a gesture from... Uh, huh, and this... Oh, yeah, I saw these ramparts up here, but I didn't know how to get up here. Oh, I'm a freaking genius, dude. Okay, you don't gotta praise me. I know I'm good. What is this? Oh, Nomadic Warriors cookbook. That's good. Another corpse. Oh, this is right uh, right above the entrance, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we still didn't find Roderica's thing. There's an area that I haven't even found that's completely sealed off? How do I get in here? Close. Ah, there we go. We actually ended up finding what I wanted to find. So that's good. There we go. Crimson hood. Hood cloaked in vivid crimson worn by expatriated royalty. This is vigor. By like one. And it increases my health a little bit too. Roderica never once saw the guidance of Oh, it looks cute. I like my night helmet. I mean, maybe we can go back and like be like, yo, Roger, guy, look what I got. Found in a pile of your dead friend. Oh, no, we can't say that. Bruh, I'm not gonna fight you. Don't throw me. Please. Yeah, down here. I never checked down here. Okay. Fireproof, fireproof dried liver. I'm guessing that gives us fire resistance. Okay. Thumbs are keys. Treasure chest. Ahead. You trait. Not a mimic, is it? Oh. Godskin prayer book. And a Godslayer skill. Oh. We need to give this to this dude. Ah. Well then. That. It's in It's all the work of Eric Re. Very well. Now, what does that give you? Black flame. It's a ball of raging black fire. All right. So not really too much to do in this episode. A lot of just catching up. But yeah, that's always that's always nice. I'll probably splice this with the uh, another episode if it's too short. So oh, yeah, we'll do that next episode. But for now, thank you for watching. You're all fantastic. And I'll see you next episode.